we need to prepare and get ready to be able to do these kinds of world PvP encounters. The fact is, right now, our world PvP capabilities are high, but our potential is not unleashed. I need you guys to be able to be prepared and know what you need to do. So everybody over here, come in front of me and be right over here. Be right over here. Okay, I want to practice this up. Alright, there's a few other people coming over here. Alright, everybody come over here. Come over here with me. We have to be a lot faster. Half the people are AFK, not paying attention. Uh, I guess that's the way it goes. But, uh, you know, I wish that we obviously had better, uh, better plan. Lag is your biggest enemy. Yeah, I know that. We only have one layer in old Blanche Pog. Yeah, there you go, dude. Need to be able to spread out and group up on command. Yeah, okay, so listen. We still have a few people right over there that are AFK. So here's what we're going to do. First thing that I want you guys to practice is spread out in a loose gaggle right now. Everybody spread out in a loose gaggle right now. Mark yourself, please. Yeah, I'll mark myself, but if you want to see that, okay. Yeah, there you go. Loose gaggle. Okay. Good. This is good. Maybe a little bit too spread out, but this is good. All right. Now we condense back in. Too far? It, it's fine. doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it, this is good enough. All right. Come back in. Good job. Okay. The next thing that we need to do, make a line. Make a line. Everybody practice, make a line. Make a line. And we're going to practice riding together in the line. Okay, stream delay, doesn't matter. Uh, as soon as everybody gets the idea. Okay, good. Alright, now we're going to ride in this line together in kind of a V formation, okay? So it's going to be kind of like a V. So everybody kind of ride in a V. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Wait, I, I, that's actually pretty good. That that's that's pretty fucking good. Wow. Okay, ducks fly together. You're goddamn right. Okay, great job. Great fucking job. Okay, next thing. Condensing into a small area. Whenever I call for it. Everybody, all of you guys without mounts, I don't know what you guys are doing. Everybody is going to go inside this house. Practice going inside the house. Go inside the house now. Go in the house now. Everybody go in the house now. Go inside the house. Surprise. Okay, everybody inside. Everybody inside. Good. Excellent job. Excellent fucking job. Good, good job. Good, good job. Okay, perfect. Alright, now you stay out. Stay inside the house. I just want to make sure nobody's outside, okay? Stay, stay inside. Okay, this is good. I'm very proud of you guys. Keep it up. Uh, damn that poor house. Exactly. All right. Now everybody move out and mount up and come over here. Moon up and get over here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're we waiting here. Uh, let's see. Um. All right. Perfect. All right. Now go into a V formation. Now, you never stack. I want you guys to understand this. You never stack unless I call the stack. The default formation is loose gaggle. That is the default formation or a V. Okay? You are never stacked. I know you guys always like to cluster around the streamer, but that needs to stop. Okay? There's no more clustering around the streamer or anything like that. I don't want to fucking see it. Uh, I never want to fucking see it. Okay? Uh, yeah, let, let's fucking go. Alright, this is perfect. Okay, now we're going to ride. We're going to ride over to the coast in the V. Everybody, whenever you hear this, ride. Go. Go. Okay, good. Good job. Good job. All right, perfect. This is amazing. Uh, I, this is very, very good. And it, again, uh, generally, just kind of follow where I'm going. Uh, it, just make sure you, you have me targeted in these situations. Just follow where I'm going. Okay, this is really, really good. Now, it's just the planning for this needs to be better. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys basically what we're going to do. Oh, we got the Sergeant Brash Claw. Uh, that's great. Okay, now we're going to go over to the uh, over to this little thing here, the cave. All right, over to the cave. Actually, you know what? Let's go over to Moonbrook. That's a better idea. Yeah, everybody go over to Moonbrook. Everybody come on over to Moonbrook. 
And uh, then we're going to wait over there. I think they messed up the V. It looks like a loose V. Well, they were spreading back and forth, right? And they're, they're, the thing is, like, the loose gaggle is the main thing. Like, the V thing isn't really a big deal, right? And having people staying off on the sides and everything, uh, that's also really important. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to be moving around and practicing this and going to different locations and seeing how we're going to be able to handle this, okay? Loose V spreading. The V is too loose. The V is too loose. Uh... I mean, they're not really in a V formation right now. So this right here, this formation is great. This is perfect. This is what you want to be at all the time. Always be in this formation right here. So you're very, very spread out. There's no way that a lot of people are going to be able to know you or anything like that, okay? You have a few people there off to the side that's very, very good. Those are our flankers, of course, and those are like mages and other people that think that they know what they're doing, right? Shadow priests, etc. So this is good. All right, yeah, this is the uh, this is the formation. Okay, now we're going to go over to here. Now, here's what I want you guys to do now. I'm going to practice following. You guys need to follow me. So we're going to be making one line. You don't stack up on top of me. You go like a line. Like, almost like you're following me, but like a, like a human centipede. I'm going to be going in between these houses, and I want you guys to all follow me. Yeah, sharp turns. Yeah, we're all, all in a line. All right. Get ready. Now, follow and stay with me. Follow and stay with me. Here we go. Going. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't skip. Don't skip. Stay with me. Good. Good. Going through here. Good. 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 Right in through here. Good. Let's wrap this around. Then we're going to go over this way. Okay, now everybody go in the house. Everybody go in this house right in front of me. Everybody go in the house. Go in the house. Quick. This is it. Jump off the cliff? No, nobody's jumping off the cliff. Got to be faster? No, this is fine. There are a few people that are a little bit farther behind, but it's okay. Now, this is really, really good. Now, all right. This is very well planned. This is a clown car? No, it's not a clown car. Listen, there's just a few people in here. It's not a big deal. Everybody, everybody's good, okay? This is what the game is all about right here. Hide and seek, fast reaction, fast reactions as needed. Exactly. Okay, everybody move outside. Move outside. We're going to move over to the Duskwood now. Everybody, we're going to move over to the Duskwood now. Let's go. Come on over this way. Uh, compression artifacts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Now, stay with me. Remember, stay with me. This is the loose gaggle. This is always... Listen, here's why we do the loose gaggle, just so you guys understand. The reason why we do loose gaggle is so mages can't blink in and just frost nova all of our people. Okay, so we do want to have people like Loy right there. Or sorry, Dima, I thought that was Loy. But uh, anybody right there on the edges. Mages... So basically, mages are the playmakers. Mages are the playmakers. Warriors are the ones that finish the play. So mages make the play. Warriors finish it. So, basically, that's how it's supposed to work. That's what I want it to do, okay? McConnell, uh, are, are you here with, like, the, uh, with, with the training thing? No, I'm busy. What are you busy with? Rerolling. What are you going to reroll to? Priest. Why? Because they're actually useful. Oh, there is that. Is this, like, a 200 IQ play to just get ATS number drops in, like, a year? No, that's going to Lloyd. Okay. Okay. Alright, now we're going to go through the bridge. Everybody go through the bridge. Everyone go through the bridge. Come on, come on over this way. Everybody through the bridge. Through the bridge. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. How do you feel about the guilds? Uh, how do you feel about their, uh, their coordination now? I'm not even watching, man. Mm-hmm. That guy's dead. That's what happens whenever you go into a contested zone. So whenever we actually go into combat, we're going to go over to STV and we're going to practice that as well, okay? Uh, let's go over this way. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's go. Uh, you need 100% uh, mounts? I know, man. We're going to try to do that soon. Uh, it's just getting everybody 100% mount isn't really realistic right now because of how expensive they are. I mean, as time goes on, more and more people are going to have them. But uh, right now, I don't really expect it to be that big of a uh, that big of a thing.
Okay, 9% rage and reset that guy. Yeah, you always need to be spreading out. See that guy right there, anti-hero? He just, he just body rezzed again. We killed him again. Great job. Now, in situations like this, whenever we're in kind of like a smaller condensed area, we want to make sure that we have... Actually, you know what? This is a really, really good formation. Yeah, this is actually perfect. Yeah, just keep this up, guys. Just keep this up. And again, guys, like little clusters like this, we want to make sure that we always spread those out. So if you see yourself clustering around any other group of people, that's going to make you a target for any sort of AoEs. If they want to go ahead and blink in and sap or charge an AoE or fire an over or any kind of fucking bullshit like that, you do not want to let that happen, okay? So the way that you make sure that doesn't happen is you run around and you just avoid the shit as much as possible, okay? And that's actually bad. All these formations uh, have you running first. Uh, it happens to be a raid targeting you, you'll be alone and vulnerable up front. Well, I'll just stop moving. But it, it, the thing is that uh, I'll just stop moving because I have to direct people where to go, right? I mean, you have to tell people where to go. And so the best way for the... All right, go, to, go over to STV. Everybody go over to STV. Uh, let's practice this right here, okay? We'll practice a few like little small little uh, engagements, etc. And uh, then we'll go from there. All right, should play Alliance or Horde? It uh, depends, man. All right, uh, I, I would say play Alliance on Feralina and join Olympus. Uh, it's the greatest guild on the server. Everybody knows it. Uh, you need an ally spy on hordes uh, for the world. I, I don't know if I really want to deal with that, like an alliance spy or anything like that. It's really kind of hard for me to to set all of that kind of stuff. Uh, but not Olympus 9. Yeah, I know, man. Like, Olympus 9, listen, I understand that it's been an issue and some people are upset about the way that it turned out. We're going to take care of it, guys. Don't worry about it. We're going to completely take care of it. Uh, see, that guy, he fell down. You're not supposed to fall down. Fear Warden? Apparently, he's not afraid of gravity. Uh, all right, make sure that you come back up here. Now, go over to nesting. Actually, wait. Wait right over here. Wait here at the graveyard, and then we're all going to move in together, okay? Uh, so, wait over here at the graveyard, then we'll all move. Jigsaw 2020? Yo, relax, man. Relax. Okay, wait over there. See, again, guys, you never... You never... I, I know this is really hard for people to understand and, like, get, get used to, but you don't cluster around the streamer. Stop clustering around the streamer. You guys really, really, really feel like you have to do that. You don't have to do that. Don't cluster around the streamer. Okay, let's go. Move up. And so we're going to go across here. Go across the water. Uh, practice buffing up. Yeah, we'll practice that in a bit. Right now, I want to do this first, though. I like the streamer. Well, no, it's just that people... Um, people are very... Like, they just want to be, like, on screen, you know? Like, it's very, very common. They're like, all right, yeah, everybody come, come, come across. Come across. Okay, good. Now you see this horde right here? Kill him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. There, get, get rid of him. Good job. Okay, now make a circle around Nesting Warrior's Expedition right now. Make a circle around it. I want to practice this next. So this is basically just another formation for preventing people from getting too far away or anything like that. So just make a circle right around it. Prevent anybody from getting away. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Okay, this is good. Now... If we're ever camping an individual player, so let's pretend like we're camping this guy. We make a circle around his body. Okay, so ever make a circle around his body. A 20 yard circle around his body. All right, and that way there's never going to be a point where he can resurrect and actually get away without us immediately targeting him and killing him. That needs to happen all the time. All right, good job so far, guys. Now let's move over to the uh, to the Gromgal base camp. We're gonna try and attempt some stuff over there, okay? Why are they practicing them so useless? Well, because we want to make sure that we're able to kill people and you know not do anything dumb like that, you know. And after that, we'll go over to Gurabashi Arena. You guys think it's stupid? I I'm going to train these people. I it's not stupid. It's not stupid. Like, trust me. Like, you guys haven't done any world PvP stuff at all. So you don't fucking get it. But whenever we go into a battle and we just win the battle because of our superior combat training, then you'll fucking see how this does matter. So we're going to go over to Gromgal base camp and we're going to see if there's anybody over there, okay? All right, let's go. Uh, Soda talking about world bosses and how Olympus is going to own. No, I haven't seen that, actually. I mean, I'm assuming I, I kind of know what he's going to say, but... Yeah, I mean, obviously our guild has a huge advantage with world bosses because we just have so many fucking people, right? Now, of course we do. But uh, I don't know. There's not really much we can really do about that. It just is what it is. Let's go down this way. Uh, quality over quantity? That's not true. Uh, having quantity is super important, right? I mean, the thing is that, like, Classic WoW, 
quantity matters so much. Like having a lot of people does make a huge difference. Now, are there times where like the quantity of people doesn't matter? Yeah, of course. All right, run in here, run in here. So whenever we go to an area like this, the first thing you want to do is you want to go and after you kill all the horde, obviously, uh, you want to make sure that you're killing all of the NPCs that are in the area. Because the NPCs, if they are aggroed or they see like an alliance player, they call guards or some kind of shit, right? So yeah, see as soon as they get engaged. So you want to kill all of the NPCs as fast as possible. And that way we don't have to worry about any extra guards or anything like that and people can drink. Uh, so yeah, you go around here, you kill literally everything. And this is again, you guys are clustering up. You, you do not ever cluster up, okay? Uh, I, I know this is like, this is going to take a really long time for people to kind of get get out of the habit of this, but you need to not cluster up ever, okay? Yeah, you're always a loose gaggle. That's the way that it works. That's the way that it always works. Okay, good job so far. Now kill all these. All right, perfect. Great fucking job. Keep up. Get on the blimp to Orgamar. Uh, you know what? Yeah, everybody go up, go up there. Go up there. Go go over to uh go over to Oh wait, there's a there's a level 60 horde. Okay, is he going to be able to get away? Yeah, no, he fell down. He fell down, dude. Okay, all right, all right. What a dumbass. Come up to the top. Everybody come up to the top. See if you can get on the uh, on the Orgamar blimp. Uh everybody just run up to the top quickly. Uh, I'll tell you to jump down if if you're not supposed to. Everybody needs to move up to the blimp to Orgamar. Get yeah, I mean as many people getting on there as possible. Okay, it just left. It just left. Don't worry about it. Yeah, jump off if you're still there. See that random guy, Squidman? He's gone. Okay, now we're going to get ready to move forward and into Orgrimmar. Uh, don't kill the Steaminal Cartel, guys, because uh, if you kill them, then we lose the reputation. It's a huge pain in the dick. Right? Don't kill the Steaminal Cartel. Hope you're questing Gromgol and Horde. You're right. Yeah, we are going to go over to Orgrimmar, and we're going to see how this goes, okay? So again, guys, I want to have like a genuine combat situation. We're not actually going to go inside of Orgrimmar. That would be a, a really bad mistake because it was going to be really laggy. But for the most part, I think that we're going to be okay just moving forward and doing this other shit, right? Go to Orgrimmar. Yeah, yeah. So we need to have more people that are all ready to go, okay? If you need an invite over to the raid, uh, just message me INV. Message me INV. Um, because if you do that, then uh, it'll automatically invite you with my add-on. Uh, I'll remove some people that are offline, too. And uh, this guy right here, what's this guy? Po poop like soup. This guy, little fucking 20. Uh, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Let me read some more of these real quick, and uh, then we'll move forward. Okay, uh, he just wants to be an ass. Yeah, there's a lot of people that want to be that, man. You just have to get a platform, better watch a YouTube video. Uh, uh, Terrell, thanks for $7. I appreciate that, man. Um, thank you very much, man. Uh, Vapine, thank you for $5 as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As we learned, oh, right, the other deal from Donald Trump. Listen, the thing with Jigsaw is I'm used to negotiating with people like this. This is really not a big deal to me. Uh, I've negotiated with people like this. I've negotiated with the best of them, and I've negotiated with the worst of them. And the truth is that these people, I can deal with them, uh, and, and I, I always end up getting what I want. So uh, I don't worry about it at all. So guys, whenever we have things like this happen, listen, uh, you don't want to ever kill like the, uh, the Steamino Cartel guys. Yeah, don't kill them as much as possible. Uh, that always makes things a lot worse. Okay, so again, always be watching for horde that are out in the area. You want to kill any horde that spawn. They need to be the priority, but you don't want to break your position to lose that, uh, to lose that, okay? So generally, like, Holding a choke point and then making you come through the choke point is very, very good in world PvP because it forces them to group up indirectly and then that allows you to AoE them down. So whenever we have a situation like that, we need to always be trying to force people into grouping up. And that's the main meta of world PvP is to get people to group up. It matters a lot. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go over to Orgrimmar and I want you guys to practice moving and operating and functioning as a team and actually doing things the way that you're supposed to. Now, we do have some people here that are a little bit low level. That is going to make things a little bit more difficult for us, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to try our best, and uh, we're going to do whatever we can. Should have trained with, uh, with smaller groups separately. Oh, this is fine. Uh, I think this is okay. People need to be used to uh, fighting in a large group. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead. Let me drop this group right here, and I'll make a separate group. Actually, you know what? We need, probably need more raids. Oh, this is okay. Like, I mean, we have a few people that are kind of low level and stuff, so it's not really a big deal. I just want you guys to practice this in a general sense. So, all right. So whenever the Zeppelin comes and we're going to go somewhere, here's what we need to do. 
everybody spreads out around this area, and that way they can't just AoE us down as soon as possible. Here we go. So don't just run in like this. Everybody spreads out, and that way they can't AoE everybody down waiting at the Zeppelin. Watch the new Nixian video. I'll watch that in a little bit, okay? I haven't watched a lot of videos for a while. So uh, we can take a look at some videos after this. Uh, aerial Assault, yeah. Okay, and uh, get ready. Now, you all, yeah, see them? See them? There's some horde right there. So you immediately kill them. Immediately kill them. The moment they're within uh, within range, you immediately kill them. See, these guys are already jumping away. They're terrified. And for people like that, the way that you handle this guy is you want to dot them up as much as possible so they die from dots. Now, this guy's probably going to be able to get away, unfortunately. Uh, young Welfare. Okay, yeah, go after Young Welfare right there. So he's right there underneath us. He's at 20% health, and now he is almost dead. Okay, he actually did get away with an ice block. That's the way it goes. So whenever something like this happens, don't even worry about him. Yeah, re oh, wait. Are you guys really going to kill him? He cold snapped another ice block. Oh, my God. No, you never really want to worry about that, dude. Don't ever chase one person like that. It's more important that we... Uh, yeah, he's going to get away, man. Wait. Yeah, yeah, just come back up with us, man. We got to worry about this. Okay, come up this way. You'll get res once you finish moving. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, guys, so again, there's people over here. Make sure to kill them. All right, oh, wait, that's move over. We don't need to kill him. Okay, there's this guy, Jerry Priest. Get rid of him. Yeah, kill all of these guys as soon as they come over, okay? All right, now, whenever this happens, we're going to be jumping down off the Zeppelin afterwards, okay? So, everybody, we need to all be moving. This is basically the same thing. Again, moving as a loose gaggle. Moving, oh, wait, somebody fall off? Wait, who fell off? Who the fuck fell off? All right, who cares? It doesn't matter. Yeah, so we do have a few, a group of people, the the most bloodthirsty of our bunch, that are going to run out and thirst people that are uh, that are horde. Okay, so we're going over to Orgamar, and we're gonna try to fight them off and uh, practice our uh, our organization. Okay, uh, that's what we need to do. All right, let's go. See how this is gonna go. Where are we dropping, boys? I'll tell you where. Just wait. Drop now. Everybody drop now. Drop now. Drop now. Drop now. Drop now. Good job. Everybody drop now. Good. Now everybody group up right over here. Group up right over here. We are in enemy. We are behind enemy lines. Everybody needs to group up over here with a loose gaggle. Loose gaggle right now. Good job. Good job. Everybody else, come on back down here. Okay, now let's move forward. We are not going inside of Orgrimmar. We're going to go right over to the gates. Pay attention. Everybody on your mounts. Everybody on your mounts. Stay with me. You should not be up there. Why are you up there? You should not be up there. Why are you up there? See this guy right here? He's a level 21. So we're going to kill him, okay? He went into Ghost Wolf to try to get away. He's not getting away. Okay, good job. All right, now again, we rotate together and we keep everyone together. Stay with the group, okay? Make sure to stay with the group. You don't want to get picked off. There's plenty of rogues and shit like that that are going to try to pick you off, etc. You don't want to let that happen, okay? Keep moving over this way. So we're going to see if there's anybody dueling over here. And we're going to rotate around. So is there anybody over in this area? All of the horde are terrified. There's a few people right over here. Move forward. Clean a few of these guys up. Oh, wait, wait, where? What the fuck? Okay, come come back out. Come back out. Everybody come out. Everybody come out. Move out. Move out now. Move out now. Move out now. Move out now. Everybody right now, I know you want to be bloodthirsty. Move out right over here. Move out right over here. Move out right over here. Come on. Focus up. Move right here. Yeah, this is the loose gaggle right here. This is perfect, amazing positioning. Absolutely incredible positioning. Good job. Okay, good. Now, we're going to be moving over right now. Okay, he died. Uh, move over right now towards the barons. We're right there towards the barons. Uh, a lot of level 40 horde? Yeah, I'm not really too worried about that. Okay, Jar, he's going to do his best, okay? He's really not that great of a player, so uh, 
It's gonna take him a while. All right, move over towards the uh, uh, towards the the river here. Yeah, actually, everybody, let's practice right now. Practice right now, everybody. Go make a circle around this hut. Actually, no, everybody, get in this area. Get in this area right here. We want to get in here with the boars. Get in here with the boars. Spread out around here with the boars. Everybody spread out around here with the boars. Excellent job. Excellent job. You're not here with the boars. Selena, you're not here. Krogh, you didn't follow. If you had followed, that wouldn't have happened. Jacob, yeah, we'll get rid of Jacob. All right, kill him. Good job. This protects us from any melee. Now only the range can fight us. Now, we don't actually want to be swine, so let's all move out. We're all going to move out right now. These guys are going to try to stop us, so get ready for that. Move out right now. Good job. That, those kinds of choke points, you want to make sure that, again, we're not going through those all at the same time. Pretend like you're taking turns and your character is actually a certain size and you can't all walk in at the same time. That way, any sort of Frostnova or AoE will be dispersed among the entire raid, and the damage, comparatively, it won't be as high. Okay, get right over here. Don't go across the river. Don't go across the river. Line up across the river. Hey, they didn't hear it from Stream Blades. Okay. Good. All right, good. We lost a few people for, for no fucking reason. Uh, see, Stinkerbell, you should have stayed with us and you would have been fine. Uh, there's this guy right here. He's real. He's bloodthirsty, man. He really wants it. Uh, just get rid of him real quick. Same with this chonky guy. Uh, get rid of him, too. Kill him. That's good. Now we're going to move across the river now. Everybody move across the river now. Move across the river now. Okay, in a line. In a line. Okay, good. Great job. Now here's what we're going to do. Everybody line up on this side of the river, and if anybody comes across, we immediately kill them, okay? This is obviously makes it a little bit more complicated because we're not in contested zone, but uh, I just want you guys to practice this, okay? Great job so far. Now we're going to move over towards the crossroads. Move over towards the crossroads. Start summons. So here's how we're going to do summonings. Okay? So the way that we handle summons is like this. Everybody come up here. Everyone come up here. So again, I'm going to make another raid. If you want to join this next raid, uh, if there's a few warlocks that can maybe drop this one and rejoin, we are going to fulfill... Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, it's right in here. Okay, I thought so. Um, go ahead and, uh, and rejoin this raid if you want to come and be part of this, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to be doing summons inside. Do summons inside of here. Everybody else seems to be outside. So warlocks and a handful of people that are like maybe lower level or not really combat efficient are going to be inside of, uh, inside of the house. Everybody else is on the outside, preventing anybody from going inside. Okay, so a few warlocks go inside right now. Clean these guys up right now. Good, good, good. Nice job. Okay, let's go. Come up here. So you obviously want to do summons over here. Yeah, message me for an invite if you need. Now they can obviously follow us, which make things which which makes things kind of complicated, but that's not really a big deal. I mean, like we know that shit's gonna happen anyway. Okay, great job so far. Now we need to summon anybody that we can that's not here. Now warlock start summons right now. Okay, warlock start summons anybody. So here's what you do: as warlocks, you target and prioritize people that are low that are high level. And then while you're prioritizing people that are high level, you also stop. Okay, so again, we're defending the summons. And then these guys are obviously going to run up there. It's not a big deal. But uh, let's see. This is good. This is very good. So then these people are trying to stop us. See this guy right here? Move up here, okay? Move up here. There's a few horde that think that they are uh, think they run the game or something. Uh, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, move up here. Start summons. Summon everybody in here. If you need an invite, message me, INV. Message me, INV, for an invite, okay? And uh, I can invite you. Good job, guys. Great job. Kill this guy, too. Exco, get a fuck away from me. Okay, what the hell is this? All right, now everybody pull back. Pull back. Chonky doesn't need to die, okay? He's a little 43 druid. He's not very, very dangerous. All right, everybody come back. Pull back. And we need to defend our area here. Okay, great job so far. Not the barons. You just the word. Uh, I know that. Yeah, we'll figure it out, though. Uh, yeah, defend the future. Listen, we'll do our best. Okay, we'll come over this way. Everybody needs to be staying with me. Summon anybody who's not in our area, okay? That's, again, something that needs to happen all the time. So, you look around, so whenever you see Keemstar Gnome, this is level 10 Gnome, he doesn't need to be invited. Just kick him out of the raid. 
Okay, thank you, level 49 warrior with resurrection sickness. Not useful to the raid. Just do not ever summon them. So you want to make sure that every person you're using a summoning stone on and a soul shard on is actually useful to the raid. So kick every single person out or uh, just don't invite them. And uh, that way we reform and we bring in as many people as possible that are 60, right? Or 50 plus, really. I mean, realistically. So summons that are happening out here is a mistake. So summons should always happen inside the house. So that way we can defend people that are summoning while at the same time getting as much summons out as possible. That's always going to be the plan. So let's see how we're doing for summons right here. Good job. So this is where we summon as many people as we possibly can. Okay, just a few more people, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move forward, all right? Uh, stick to the plan. Yeah, I know that. I know that. We are sticking to the plan. Don't worry. The reason why we don't use epic mounts is because not everybody has an epic mount. We want to make sure that everybody is riding and moving at the same pace and at the same rate. After this, we're going to be moving over towards the crossroads. We are moving over towards the crossroads after this. Yes, everybody message me for an invite or message somebody else in a raid for an invite. Get everybody here, okay? Everybody in Olympus. I think this under I got a clean dick, boys. Okay. Okay. Ask him, okay. If, ask him if he wash his hands. This is great. Now again, guys, they're trying to cluster around me. You guys are also, again, clustering around me. Do not cluster around me. Yeah, we've got some cock boys here, but don't worry about it. All right, everybody come over to me. Everybody come over to me uh, and form a loose gaggle around me. Form a loose gaggle around me. Let's go, guys. Come down from the back and uh, from summoning, and uh, then we're going to go ahead. Everybody else, head over here uh, on your own, and we'll go back over to uh, to the crossroads, okay? Did you wash hands? What do you mean, wash hands? Why is everybody typing that over and over and over? Why would I wash my hands? I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, come on. Oh, let's go wash it. Yeah, what, what, what do you mean? Okay, well, why, why would I need to wash my hands? I should wash my dick for touching my dick with my hands. My hands are probably dirty, dirtier than my dick is. Okay, all right, everybody move over with me. Move with me. Let's go. We're going to be moving over to the crossroads. Now, again, do not cluster with me. Do not cluster with me. That's what you do not do. So we're going to be moving over towards the crossroads right now. Do not stop unless I call the stop. Now, this guy right here, uh, like Hergo. This guy is a stupid ass bitch. Shrek 5. Everybody diverge and kill Shrek 5. Everybody diverge and kill Shrek 5 right now. Well played, squirrel. Well played. Well played. Okay, make a circle around Shrek 5. Make a circle around Shrek's 5 body, 20 yards away from the body. 20 yards around. I, I want to practice this right here. No, it it's nothing. He didn't do anything wrong, okay? We just have to practice this and, uh, he unfortunately was the uh, our, our testing agent. Uh, it's not his fault at all. He's doing the right thing. He's a good guy, but unfortunately, sometimes this is what we must do. See, this is a very, very good circle. Great job. So this is why, see, what we do here is we immediately kill anybody like that, and we make circles around their bodies so they cannot resurrect anywhere to where we can't immediately re-kill them. All right, everybody go ahead and, uh, and reform. Reform over here. Mark myself? Yeah, I'll mark myself right here. Everybody reform. We're going to move forward. We don't need to worry about Shrek anymore. It doesn't matter. And we are going to be moving over to the crossroads in just a second. Tack the leaper. Tack the leper. I don't think these guys drop pets anymore. Or sorry, in, in vanilla WoW. So it's not really worth killing. All right. Move with me, guys. Move with me. Now, again, you don't want to be too far behind, okay? So occasionally I'll call for a, uh, a reform. But this is a pretty good uh, a pretty good formation right here, okay? 
This is actually a very good formation. Great job. So if you're on those edges there, you need to make sure that you have a number of outs to where you're not able to, uh, you know, like get, get clustered or killed or something like that, okay? You don't want to let that happen. All right, move with me. Blackrock? We don't need to worry about Blackrock, okay? Uh, I'm just going to try this, and uh, we're practicing for the uh, uh, for what we're doing. Uh, it's basically it. Uh, dwarf Priest on Ram? Uh, what the fuck? Well, yeah, it's not a big deal. Like, that's their racial mount. Like, it's not a big deal. Hmm. Practice in Blackrock? Honestly, I feel like our Blackrock, our, our Blackrock rotations and everything are actually really good uh, as a team. Uh, and again, guys, you want to make sure that you're not one of the ones behind. So like, if you're one of the ones that's behind, what's going to happen is you're going to have Horde that will try to pick you off. They will absolutely try to pick you off. So if that happens, you need to make sure that you're either like you've got other people, like there are some people in the back that are just kind of ready to help you, or you're just dead. And usually, here's what the Horde do. Look at them like scavenging wolves. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to pick off the weak because they can't actually handle the strong. So what they want to do is they'll try they'll try and attack like a level 50 or something like that that's in the back. It's not really a big deal. But uh, whenever it actually comes down to like a real fucking encounter or something like that, oh, they're going to run away like little bitches, dude. That's just what they do. Alrighty. So we're going to practice this next thing, okay? So you guys see that tower up there? You guys see that tower up there? We are all going to go up to the tower and then gauntlet anybody going up to the tower, okay? Not to go inside the tower, but we're all going to go up to the top level of the tower and make sure nobody else can come up there with us. Okay, we're going to practice that. All right, let's go, guys. Get ready to move. Stay with me. Stay with me. All right, go up to the tower. Go up to the tower. Go up to the tower. Good job. Good job. Everybody go up to the tower. Everybody go up to the tower. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, I want to see. Go all the way up to the top. Go all the way up to the top. Good. Good. Good job. Amazing job. That guy's not in our guild, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Now everybody jump off and then mount up. Jump off and mount up. Good. Excellent job. Now move over towards the crossroads again. Now there are a few cock boys that are going to be in here. Hmm. What? We should have a channel in the Discord where uh, anybody can join, but only you and uh, like some other people can talk. Ooh, that'd be that a good way idea. We don't have to. We don't have to rely on like fucking Streamplay and shit like that. We That's need to do it in idea. real time. It's a very good idea. Yeah, I like that a lot. So coming through here, everybody coming through here, and go ahead and. Whenever we're doing anything like this, the priority is always on killing the uh, the horde. It's always on killing the horde and not necessarily the NPCs, but we do want to AoE the NPCs down as much as possible. Okay, so again, just kill all the NPCs. Don't even worry about it. There's a few people right there. Breezy, make sure to kill. Let's kill Breezy over there. Okay, oh, army of one. Actually, literally by, by himself, an army of one. Okay, let's see how that's going to go. Okay, not too well. All right, that guy's dead. Perfect. All right, kill sergeant. Kill the sergeant right here. Uh, some of these uh, these NPCs have a lot of uh, have a lot of health, and so make sure that if you're a prot uh, prot class, you know kind of like what the the high level NPCs are, and you're able to immediately kill them, and that way they don't overwhelm the raid and uh, the group of people. See those guys right over there? They're not very happy about this whole situation, and uh, what are they gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. This guy's already dead. And uh, let's see, what else is over here? Okay, nobody else is in this area. So we just completely run... Wait, what the fuck? Guys. Please res me. Please res me. Uh, we need to get this sorted out, alright? Yeah, I guess that's the way it goes. Alright, yeah, there's plenty of people here. I know there's a lot of people here. Don't worry about it. So again, uh, you do not want to cluster up. That's what happens whenever you cluster up, okay? Is they start AoEing. You don't want to let them AoE. 
Uh, the horde, half of the horde population is mages, so you want to be aware of that. Again, there's some people behind us, so let's move in and kill them. Uh, make sure we get that guy down. We'll get this guy right here. Easy, easy, easy kill. This guy right there is a warlock. I'll go ahead and just charge over to him. What's Adam going to do? Adam's not going to do a fucking thing. Adam's just going to die because he's a dumbass bitch. Get him out of here. So again, guys, with people like this, you want to immediately kill them. And uh, then after that, basically regroup. Uh, you don't want to make sure that you're moving too far away or you're overextending or anything like that. Just kill them and then move forward and then regroup. Always want to be regrouping. A, a B, C. Always be regrouping. Good. Good job killing that level 4 29. That was very impressive, too. Uh, very, very well done. So again, guys, and, and like, let's assume that we're trying to do summons again. So let's start summoning right now. Uh, warlocks and a few other people, uh, go up to the top there and start summons. And a few people guard the warlock summoning right now. So start summons at the top of the tower there. A few warlocks, go start summons. And uh, anybody that needs a summon, we'll go ahead and we'll do that for them, okay? Not everybody there. There you go. That's good. Just stop anybody, okay? See that guy right there? He thought he was going to do something. He didn't. He just died. Great job. Okay, now where else are we waiting for? Okay, yeah. Again, you always want to be in the loose gaggle. Always in the loose gaggle. This is very, very good. See that level 30? Great job. He's destroyed. Uh, for the alliance, by the way. Okay... Let's see, always be closing? Yeah, exactly, always be closing. Okay, let's see, I think that we're doing pretty fucking well. Uh, you should ask Swifty for more tips, so I, I think that, I think we know what we're doing whenever it comes to world PvP. Now, here's another issue. Nature dude, he couldn't stop himself, he couldn't help himself. What, let him kill himself with my thorns. Okay, never mind, that's fine. Uh, it's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, watch out for that guy right there, good job. Where's a really big horde questing hub? Uh, I'm thinking about that. Uh, I guess, like, are there horde... Oh, there are horde in Ashenvale. Holy shit. Yeah, we can go over there. That's a great idea. Okay, see this cockboy right here? We want to always be paying attention to cockboys. Always watching for cockboys. Have your eyes peeled for cockboys. See that? He doesn't know where, he, where I am. He's so fucking terrified. He's so terrified. He's like, man, I thought they wouldn't see me. Well, we did. Keep killing more of these guys if they spawn, okay? Great job so far. Now, unfortunately, this is a, uh, a non-contested zone. Uh, just keep doing... Should go to Stone Talon? Uh, I think that Ashenvale is a better spot because we're going to be moving over towards Winter Winter Spring, too. Okay, move over this way, guys. Everybody right over here. V formation. V formation right now. V formation. Let's go. Ignore the horde. It's not a big deal. They're not going to do anything anyway. V formation. Let's go, everybody. Uh, we're not going to be able to get someone sorted. Asma Golder, you're level 28. I'm going to kick you out of the raid. Uh, stop asking for a summon and start asking for a uh, an invite into like maybe a, a Dead Minds group or something like that, or uh, I guess stockades for you. See this right here? This is why it, this is not a good uh, good position. This is only the V position will only be used for moving into PvP encounters. Okay, not normal. All right, uh, we're going to summon for one more minute, then we're going to move forward. Okay. See Dr. Denim right there? Boom. He's gone. Look at that guy right there. These are level 14s. These guys have no fucking idea what's going on. They literally have no fucking idea what's going on. This guy's spamming high Asmon. I can't believe it. This is truly sad. Okay, everybody move back over here. Uh, stop killing any of the nubs. Uh, Foxu is back. He didn't get enough damage back in, uh, he didn't get enough, to, uh, he didn't get killed enough back in Stranglethorn Vale, so he's gonna do this instead. I can summon. Alright, everybody stop summons. We're gonna get ready to move in just a couple of minutes, okay? Everybody start summons, get ready to move. I'm gonna get ready 30 seconds, and we're gonna move forward. Good thing none of these guys are Moonkins. Shut the fuck up. Oh, wow! I lost a duel to a Moonkin in phase one, and I don't have my PvP trinket. Fuck off. Okay, fuck off. Alright, guys, let's keep moving. Everybody move over to Ashen Vale now. Oh, actually, wait, after this guy is fucking done with this shit, okay? Get ready to move over to Ashen Vale now. Again, everybody moves with me. Move over there now. Move over there now. Let's go. Again, a loose gaggle. A loose gaggle towards a V shape. Okay? Like, don't worry about these guys right here. If you want to stay back and kill them, I don't care. 
All right, doesn't really matter too much to me. Like, I would say just let him go. Like, I mean, this guy's got to go quest. Look at that guy right there. He's level 40. Why the fuck is he in the Barons at level 40? I know why, because he's still level 40 and he's not 60 doing Molten Core. He's a fucking clown wasting his goddamn time playing the game and not having the real fun, which is at level 60. Okay, he's having fun wrong. Uh, there's a lot of people that are like that. It's not a big deal. Why are they going to Ashenvale? Because it's a contested zone and there's a bunch of people that are standing on top of me and it's relatively annoying. Uh, that's actually why. Uh, were you always such a good boy or did you become one? I've never been a good boy. Why? Well, I, I, I'm a good boy in some ways and not in others, right? Uh, it just depends on what the situation is. Rongo, thank you very much for the five dollars. I appreciate that. He says you're such a good boy too. Thank you very much. Uh, quick question. I'm six percent, uh, hit capped. Uh, would Fury be better than, uh, than dual wield? Uh, you're gonna have to ask somebody that's like more into theory crafting than me. I, I don't really know, honestly. So this movement right here, I want to say this again, this movement is very, very, very well done. Uh, I, I really, really like this a lot. So again, guys, make sure that you're always being spread out. And again, people on the edges there uh, know what they're doing. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's been targeting me the whole fucking time, man. I, I, I don't even know what to say. As I'm asking you, don't it again. Have you seen c -Doo Duel? Well, I watched him duel against Tim the Tapman, right? Which wasn't really a duel. It was mainly a damage test. But I would love to see what somebody like, uh, what Sidu would be able to do against, like, somebody that's actually very well geared and knows what they're doing. I think that'd be badass to watch. So, I don't really know, but, uh, I do think that is pretty fucking cool. And, uh, I can't believe he got fucking hand to rack, dude. That's so insane. Uh, you should do a turtle formation with your movement. Go to org. Well, I feel like we're not going to be able to do much over at org tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, there's just, like, we have a lot of people in here that aren't, like, fully 60, so... This is mainly... Actually, a lot of people are 60. Damn, okay. Let me see here. Uh, Yeah, holy shit. We do have a lot of 60s. What the fuck? Okay, good. Uh, Keep moving, guys. Show sword. My sword. You know the best part about the sword? Besides how big it is? People I saying, gave that to you. I know, you did. Someone says behind us. Let's go ahead. Circle back around. Circle back around. Why are you saying behind us? What's going on behind us? Is there a problem behind us? It seems like everybody's okay. Coase, what's going on, Coase? Uh, wait. Wait, you're not supposed to be there. You're not listening. There's like 20 people. Who cares? Um, yeah, you're not listening. Like, you need to stay with the team. Like, whenever I call the move away, you need to move over to the team. Right? I mean, like, I, I, I don't know why you're over there. Like, you should be there with the team. Good. Good, guys. That's discipline. I, I know that killing Asmon is, is a very, very compelling idea, right? You really, really want to get me. Thank you. I appreciate you not doing it. Alrighty. Good job. That guy's dead. I'll go over towards Ashenvale now. Alright, get rid of him. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. They, they just contested themselves. Get rid of him, boys. All right, excellent job. Those are the Spurgs running around with us, okay? This is an Alliance-only raid. Uh, I don't want to see this at all. So the Warsaw Lumber Camp is where I believe all the Horde are at. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I don't have time for you. Uh, you don't want to go and chase like that because usually they're running... Like, where do you think they're running to? They're running to where their friends are. You don't want to let them do that. Okay, so move over this way. Loose Gaggle. Again, guys, a loose Gaggle. Blue Skaggle. We're moving over towards the uh, the Warsaw Lumber, Lumber Camp, which is where I believe the uh, the Horde area is. Uh, isn't that where it is? Like the Warsaw Lumber, Lumber Lumber Camp? I think so. We'll find out. Uh, can't handle 60s in Orgrimmar. Well, no. I mean, so basically the reason why we're not doing that is because if we go over to Orgrimmar, it's not going to be like a normal situation. Like I'm talking about like actual like world PvP, not raiding cities. Like, if we're talking about raiding cities, then yeah, it's a completely different paradigm. But, uh, I'm not too concerned about that right now. Uh, like, I mean, the thing is with raiding cities, there's just so much lag that it's impossible to do anything. Uh, that, that's my problem. Splinter Tree Post. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought it was the Warsong area. What the fuck? Alright, great. Well, let's move over that way then. Uh, come on, guys. Okay, so again... The loose gaggle. Good job. Good job. Now don't go too far ahead. Don't get too far behind. 
especially don't get too far behind. That's what we don't want to have happen. Okay. Now let me look at the situation. Now, we are going to go over to the left, or sorry, to the right. Watch me. Watch me. Watch how I do it, and then follow with me. Follow along with me. I go up to here. Hop, hop, hop. Let's see the hops, boys. Let's see those hops. Good, 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 good. Good job. Good job. And as soon as we get to an area like this, everybody immediately spreads all the way out. Everybody spreads all the way out. Yeah, kill all these people, obviously. Not really a big deal there. Yeah, just get rid of them. Those are cock boys. Always want to kill the cock boys. Always killing cock boys. That's actually ABC. ABCB. All right, yeah, good enough. All right, clean all of these mobs out, okay? Kill everybody that we can. Okay, look at this guy. This is a very, very high-level mob, okay? You know what we do? We kill him anyway, because it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, get rid of him. So all of this stuff in there, a few people can go down the tunnel and kill everybody else. And uh, after this, again, we're all going to spread out again. And uh, if anybody else needs more summons, whenever we get to a town, right, like this, or uh, a breakpoint, immediately warlocks need to be proactive. As soon as there's any sort of a break, you immediately need to be proactive and make sure that you're starting summons and uh, getting more people into the area, right? So the way that you do that is you just simply open up your raid frame. So you see this guy, Fireward. He's in Gadget Sand. Is Gadget Sand near where we're at? No, it's fucking not. So we head over there. Camp the Fight Bath? That's right. So I also want to talk about camping flight paths because this is a very, very important thing that many people don't understand. Here's how you camp the flight path. You camp the flight path. That's it. That's how you do it. Yeah, you can't, you just camp the flight path. Uh, you just you have a few people there, and here's what you do: you immediately dot and stun anybody. So let's practice with one person, okay? Everybody else spread out. Let's have just a handful of people practice camping the flight path, okay? Handful of people practice camping the flight path. Other people need to be watching the door here, watching the door. Okay, so somebody will fly in. As soon as they fly in, you need to immediately stun them. Okay, always stun them. And also, kill the Flight Master as soon as they spawn. Because if you kill the Flight Master really fast, that's going to prevent them from being able to leave. And uh, that's also uh, very, very, very good. Okay, so next thing is uh, we also want to invite more people. So guys, please go ahead and keep summons up. Everybody keep summons up. We are a walking ball of death, and we kill everything in our path. That's what we do. So whenever you see somebody coming down, see this guy right here. Izzy Y. Listen, Izzy Y. Let me show you how it's done. Nobody go up there and kill him. Let me take care of it myself. Watch how I handle this situation. Watch how I handle this situation. Where'd he go? Okay, you guys kill him. You got away. Alright, there. Right there. Kill him. Nice, dude. Perfect. Immediately, dude. Immediately, dude. I love it. So that's exactly what you need to do. See, like, you immediately, you cheap shot him, and you root his bitch ass. You root his bitch ass. Nice fucking job. Immediately do that. Then you go back into stealth, and you do it again. Great job, guys. Amazing fucking job. Keep moving forward, need to. Yeah, everybody, like, if you guys aren't in this group, like, make sure if you see a summoning portal, see if it's somebody in your group and take the summon. You know, you have to type INV for an invite, okay? Not invite please. Okay, just INV. Summon people here. We're going to wait like one more minute here and then we're going to move out, okay? We're going to wait one more minute here and then we're going to move out. Put one in chat if you need to summon, okay? Uh, go to Razor Hill or the Gates of Orgrimmar. I don't know about that. We're not really worrying about that too much. Okay, uh, let's see. No, not you guys. Not you guys. The fucking in raid chat, all right? Relax. Jesus Christ, this is fucking embarrassing. Okay. Man, I need to get I need to get some better gear, dude. Like that's the other thing. I, I need You know what I need? I need this. Like Yeah, good one. What do you mean? No, I mean I'm not saying I'm gonna get it first, dude. I'm not saying I'm gonna get it first. I'm just saying like I need it, that's all. Like I really want to get Bone Reaver's Edge. That'd be awesome. I'd be happy about that. Like, more than anything, I, I think that I'm going to go with... Yeah, oh wait, that is sword. Yeah, this is sword specialist. So, is Bone Reaver's Edge better 
in PvP than Obsidian Edge Blade? I guess it must be, right? Because it just does so much more damage. I, I, I'm probably just overestimating how good Obsidian Edge Blade is because that's 42 strength. Yeah, it's got to be much better, right? Yeah, I, th I thought so. Good job. All right, we've got all the summons set up. Everybody right now, move outside of this area. Now, whenever we move outside, we all don't want to move together, right? So you want to do, you want to try to show off a little bit with how you move out, right? So just jump off like that, you know? Do something a little special and uh, let them know. That way you can't ever get rooted in a certain area. Now, we're going to move over towards the, uh, towards the, what's this called? The bridge? Or not the bridge. What's the... For the Alliance. Good job. Now, we're going to move over to Fellwood in just a minute here, okay? So, let's go over and get ready to go there. All right, I'm going to give everybody a second just to get over in this area, and then we're going to move forward. Yeah, I, I just, I feel kind of bad doing that, doing it to people like that, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's the way it goes. Uh, Jack Penn and Jaina, what are you guys, little 34? Should not have died like that. Uh, like, if you die like that, it's probably your fault. Everybody, where are we? Wait, wait. Stay together, stay together. Stay together. We have a few people that are stuck in combat. That's why I didn't move forward, okay? Yeah, so again, Warlocks also always seem to be draining souls. Always drain soul. Like, that's literally, like, Warlocks, I want you guys to understand something. You have two uses in a raid. Three uses. Number one, putting a soul stone on me for whenever stream snipers use uh, goblin sapper charges to kill me. Number two, uh, death coiling people. And number three, most importantly, using your summon. That is the Warlock utility in a raid. Dots don't matter, players die too fast. Maybe a little bit of Shadow Bolts, but the cast takes so long, it doesn't really make a difference either. Those are basically the only things you need to do. Oh, Banish? Yeah, Banish too. Always be draining. Uh, yeah, ABC. And yeah, Hellstones as well. Okay, let's go. And in Phase 2, I want you guys to understand this. Move up, move forward. Let's go. Uh, in Phase 2, I want you guys to remember that we're not going to be killing civilians anymore. So these these raids like this that we're doing, we're not going to be doing these as much. Because as soon as the, uh, the, the the honorable kill system comes in, that also adds dishonorable kills. And are we a dishonorable guild? Absolutely not. So we need to make sure that we're not letting anything like that happen, and we're bringing glory and honor to Olympus all the time. Yes? No, no, we're not. I'm going to drop trap on the bridge, yeah. So if we actually do ever need to do that, we will drop traps on bridge and stuff like that, but it's not very important. What's bad about dishonorable kills? It's simple what, what's bad about it is that it makes it to where you lose a lot of honor. And whenever phase two happens, I want to have 40-man raid squad raids that are all kill squads that are assigned to every single neutral flight, neutral flight path in the entire game. So if there's like a random flight path in, in on Goro, we immediately kill them. Immediately kill them, right? You stun them and kill them. And we need to farm out honor. We want to make sure that if we know that somebody else is going for high warlord, we camp them and gank them all day and all night long. We polymorph them. We sap them. We make sure they do not get high warlord. Everybody in the guild in phase two is going to be required to play at least eight hours a day. Probably 12. But at least eight hours a day. And that way as many people as possible can get their gear. And we need to be farming as much stuff as we possibly can. And then as BWL comes out, it's not going to be as important because a lot of this gear does get better. Uh, full time. Well, I mean, of course, you know, like that's that's what we need to start out with because there's some people that just need to get the martial gear or something like that. So they're not really going for grand martial. Like, I think that if you just want to go for the martial gear, playing maybe only like eight hours a day is going to be fine uh, as time goes on. Those are rookie numbers. Yeah, I think so, too. But uh, we'll do our best. 15 hours. I'm going to find more hardcore. Gear. Yeah, everybody needs to be playing uh, 15 hours a day. And that's why we need to start building this infrastructure for our world PVP guild. And also, what up, dude? What up, dude? Yeah, he just comes with us. What's up, man? All right, keep moving with me. Now, occasionally I'll call for a stop. Let's stop right here. Everybody stop right here just so other people can get caught up, okay? Just so everybody can get caught up. This is a great job. We've got them call center full time. We don't know it's a fucking video game. Yeah, right, dude. That's why you have like what? You have one uh, one monitor for the call center, the other one for the game. Problem solved, dude. We used to do 16 hours a day. 
Uh, I used to do that too. Like, I play, like, I would literally on AV weekend, man. I would play. Yeah, amazing job. Who's this? I see. I see. You know what? I'm going to promote you up in the guild. Just for that, I'm going to promote you. Just a minute. Are, actually, are you already promoted? See that? Immediately, as soon as we call the stop, he knew, he knows what he, what his responsibility to the guild is. And he immediately just does what he needs to do and starts summons. He just immediately starts summons. That's what needs to happen all the time. See this guy right here? Hey. Hey. Hey, yo, hey. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, it's the way it goes. Take his shoes. No, he's doing his best, okay? Arthas pop. Wait, what's this here? Uh, remember this before? Uh, Arthas pop before fight. Eight incoming all damage sources. Yeah, I don't really think it's that important personally, but yeah, there is that. All right, move forward with me. Move forward with me. So the next thing that we need to be paying attention for. See, this movement is really, really good. Uh, I do worry about you guys in the back though, so make sure that you don't get uh, don't get caught too far away. See, this right here is exactly what we need to do. This is perfect. Sure, blacklisting? Yeah, no, of course not. Um, why don't you play Prot so stream snipers can't kill you easily? Because I want to be able to play the game. And it... See this right here? Fox who only got... He only was able to root three people or five people or so. That is what... A, that is the power. That is the power of a loose gaggle. That is why we lose gaggle. Fox who's power is diminished. He's like Saruman whenever his staff was shattered by Gandalf. Okay? Absolutely fucking useless. Stabbed in the back like a bitch. Keep that in mind. See the Stranger Formation of Age of Empires 2? Uh, yeah, the Stagger Formation, exactly. Uh, I I've actually based a lot of the formations off of Age of Empires. So you're, you're right. That was the main That was my, uh, my inspiration for a lot of this. Okay, Hitler is stabbed like a bitch too? Yeah. Uh, is Quinn 69 a man of his word? Did they give you enchant for free? Uh, I don't know, honestly. I need to talk to Valoris about it and see what he wants to do. Because, uh, he's the, uh, he's the guy with the enchant. Uh, it's up to Quinn. I took the gold from, uh, the two guys. I think one of their names was Link and the other one's name was Never. And, uh, I took a hundred gold from each of them. So, if, uh, Valoris wants to reciprocate and give us free enchants for spell power and healing power and everything like that, then I will give those two people back their money. Uh, yeah, so that, that's basically what the plan is. So we always look in this area. Let's practice right now. Everybody go in the hut. Everybody in the hut. Everybody in the hut. Everybody go in the hut. Go inside the hut right now. Why don't you go inside the hut? All right, now everybody go inside the hut. Good job, guys. Good job. Good, good, good job. Any hutters? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody, move, move back out. Okay. That was a, a that was decent, I guess. A decent, I guess. Let's move this way. Okay. Uh, let's see. People enter time ship. Well, no. I, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I know, man, I know. Now they know how it feels like to be in a work. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, they're doing their best, okay? This is, this is why we have, uh, this is why we have training days. This is the whole reason, right? So, here's how you know if it's a hut versus a house. If it was made by an orc, it's a hut. If it was made by a normal person, uh, then it's a house. Alright? So, an orc or a, 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 a tauren or a troll creation, that's not a house. That's a fucking hut. But if it's made by a real person, uh, you know, then that's actually in a house, okay? Uh, that's a house suit? No, it's not a house. You guys haven't seen a house before? It's a shithole, dude. That's what it is. It's a fucking shithole. So we're gonna go over to Winter Spring in just a minute here, and, uh, we're gonna practice that as well. So Winter Spring is a very, very popular area for high-level players to be at. So this is what we want to focus on and get done. Uh, Horde are flying in? Well, good. I hope that they are. Uh, that'll give them something to do. But uh, again, if, if there's any horde that we need to deal with, we'll just take care of it. And, and again, guys, make sure we're always spread out in the loose gaggle formation. Great job so far. Very, very proud of you guys. 
Uh, what's the difference between a good mage and a bad mage? Um, one button. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, literally one button. And uh, besides, and, and like the thing is, that's not even for for PvP. The one button is Arcane Explosion. For PVE, it's Frostbolt. Like, yeah, I mean, that, there it is. Demons is losing to a warrior. Yeah, I guess so. If you ever lose to a warrior, you're a bad mage. Like a warrior will never, you'll never, you'll never lose to a warrior of equal skill. And if you are at a certain skill level as a mage, you'll never lose as a mage, period. It doesn't matter even if they're a little bit better than you. As long as you know what you're doing, uh, it doesn't make a difference at all. See this guy right here who's uh, who's questing? He doesn't know what he's doing. Moose safe? I guess not. Back to the graveyard. Uh, Horde going to kill you in the tunnel choke? Uh, no, I don't think that we want to deal with the tunnel choke at all. Uh, I kind of worry about us. Uh, there's going to be a lot. We might actually have a problem with the tunnel because a lot of people might not be uh, unfriendly with the timber moth. And I don't want to lose reputation with the Timber Maw. Let me see what those Timber Maw even give you again. Uh, let me see. Uh, factions, Timber Maw, hold. So, oh, Thorin Brother, Timber Maw, hold. So I get this right here. Call on a Timber Maw ancestor to fight by your side and heal you. Ten minute cooldown. Do I want to farm this out? I mean, I feel like I kind of don't, man. Like, it seems like this is such a way. Go left at the bridge? Wait, go left at the bridge? What bridge? What do you mean? Is there like a horde? Is there a horde camp? I don't think there's a horde camp over here, is it? I'm confused. Okay, move over this way, guys. Uh, people are making weird calls. I'm not really sure what that is. Wait, there is? Really? Okay, well, lead the way. Lead the way, guys. Lead the way. Let's go. Uh, I'll follow you guys. Uh, back. Go back. Okay. Uh, I'll go back. Oh! Oh, I think I know where we're going. I haven't been here forever. Oh, let me see about this, okay? You don't know? I don't, man. Alright, good. Twitch is literally an LFR for Classic. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's about right. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. Basically, this is LFR. Uh, you're not wrong. That's how easy this game is, dude. Okay, so where's the... Okay, there's one guy right here. This is a pretty shitty city I'm seeing. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the hell this is. So there's supposed to be a horde hub here? Oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna stop him from getting off. Shit! <sighs> All right, he got away. Uh, it's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, it's the way it goes. Okay, guys, everybody, go ahead and uh, group up. We're gonna make our way back over to uh, to Winterfall. Uh, that was a pretty good fight. A little skirmish there. Again, amazing job. Amazing job with those summons. Uh, everybody is always summoning the moment that we can. Get at least one or two summons out, and then we're going to be just fine. Who's this guy right here? Oh, no! Oh, no! Man, that guy's gonna take him like an hour to get back, man. That sucks. Well, you know what? That's the way it goes, though. I mean, he can't... See this guy right here? He's trying as hard as he can. And it really wasn't very good. Okay, we'll do another summon here. Uh, just take a second or two over here. Uh, horde behind us. Wait, there's Horde behind us? Uh, where are they? Oh, yeah, here they are. Let's go. Pull back. Pull back. Fight them. Alright, mages run in. Mages run in. Mages run in. Get him down, get him down. Get him down, boys, get him down. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I need to use a fucking potion. There it is. I, there, all right, I got soul stone. Pull them back, pull them back. Okay. Good job, good job, good job. Pull them back. Kill these guys, they're behind us. Kill the guys, they're behind us. And that's what happens. I tell you guys over and over and over. Over and over and over. 
you're grouped up. You're grouped up, guys. You just grouped up, like again. I said don't group up. You can't group up. Half the raid's under 50? Are they really? Let's see, yeah, there actually are a lot of people that are pretty low level. Okay, let's go, come back over here. That's enough of you. Yeah, guys, uh, I, I said before, that was RP, nothing we can do. No, the thing is, like, th there is something you can do. Here's the problem with the sappers, is that... Let's, can, can somebody clip that and, and, and send it to me again? Because I, I want to show you what the problem is. Right, because let, let's talk about that. Uh, let, let, let's look right here. So easy. Well, yeah, I mean, of course. Like, I mean, they had, they had a lot more people. They had sapper charges. They're completely ready. Yeah, I mean, of course. Um, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, somebody clip it and send it to me. I, I want to show you guys here. Hmm. No. Why are you guys not leveling? Yeah. You shouldn't be doing this here in 60, but it doesn't matter. Uh, discover all six minute prep time. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not really, like, the thing is that something Aaron trying to stream some of you? No, it, it's not about that. I just, uh, like, we didn't have the people that we wanted to, right? I mean, like, and, and everybody just stacked up. Like, again, guys, this is the problem with stacking up. I said this before, right? You can't stack up like this. Okay, combat? All right, let, let me show you guys what the problem is. Uh, I'll show you the clip, and you guys can watch it. Uh, if you all took the high ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, you want to spread out and like gauntlet them out. Uh, watch, we'll we'll watch this again. Okay. Then mages run in. So you guys look at look at all those people that died. See, look at that. Everybody all groups up and dies in the exact same spot. Everybody all groups up and dies in the exact same spot, guys. You guys are all stacked up right there. Right there behind my cam. You guys got AoE down. Hey, do you want to try that thing? Which thing? With the, uh, channel. Uh, with the channel? Yeah. I don't know what you mean, actually. Where everyone's muted, but you... So oh, that. Uh, uh I, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, everybody kind of... Are we all here? Yeah, everybody rise up now. Everybody rise up now. Man, what the fuck? Alright, alright, Nick. Alright, alright, okay. Okay. We'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You're right. Th this ragtag bunch of clowns just did get vendored. We got our ass beat. Let's be real. We got our ass beat. We need to do a better job. I'm glad that happened. Because I want you guys to understand how important it is to not group up like that. See, I, I, I keep saying it, and nobody listens. Here's the fact, is that's what happens every fucking time. We don't need to keep ganking people, right? Uh, they, they all left. There's no reason. Uh, move over this way, guys. Move over this way. Uh, and, and no, no scouts. Well, it's not really. No, we knew the scouts were there, right? But I, I think people just have like, they have like this retail wow mentality where you just group up and like you just stay stacked up, right? And it doesn't. Tips got thrown off the cliff. Oh, sometimes you get got. It's like you need to always be spread out. And especially whenever you see them moving in like that, you need to move back and make sure that you can't, that they can't use those sapper charges to their advantage, right? I mean, you know Horde are going to try as hard as they can. They're going to attempt everything that they possibly can do to try to kill us, right? We need to do a better job of being able to avoid that and prevent that kind of stuff from happening, okay? Uh, that's it. Yeah, let, let, let's go. Go this way. Uh, so sure. Well, no, we'll, we'll get better, right? The thing is that we have the potential, right? We have the potential to get better. Uh, raid groups, counter raid groups, so from fun. That's what the game's about. Yeah, exactly. 
Like, I mean, there it is. Olympus Guild members colluding with Horde... Your Olympus Guild members are colluding with Horde CLC Guild members to remove competition for Devil Sore spawns, namely Wolves. Will you do nothing about it? Wait, are we the Devil Sore Mafia now? Really? Wait, is, is that it? Like, I mean... Holy shit. Um, let's see. What the fuck? Okay, um... You need the scouts on the road, remember the video? Well, it's not about the scouts on the road. We knew that they were coming. Okay, alright. The the person who's apparently leading the Angoro Mafia in my guild uh, is going to talk to me for a second. Give me a second. Uh, he says, give me a minute. Alright, uh, we're going to wait a minute and then we're going to see what he says. Wizard says, fine. Post off every other guild in Angoro and work with Vampire Clan CLC in Discord. Well, let me see what he says, okay? Uh, you need scouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I'm going to get him, I'm going to talk to him, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Because he, he does a lot of like PvP stuff too. Like I've talked to him about this before. Like, because we need to make sure that we're doing a better job. Like, this that was pathetic that we got our ass beat. Like, yeah, of course a lot of the people here were, like, low level, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, that still should not happen. Still should not happen. Uh, that's why we practice and we do more of this. Uh, we need to go to a, a more heavily contested area. Hopefully there'll be more people at Winter Spring so you guys can practice up more. But you need to understand, like, a, a good group like that is going to run in and do that every single time. And the only way that you can prevent that from happening is spread out and minimize its impact. That's the only way you can do it. And that's what you need to do. You need to do that. Uh, channel Discord, uh, to unmute, auto-mute is called McCool. Okay. Yeah, maybe I can just try that instead. Uh, get better players, that won't happen. Well, we had a lot of people that are like 50 and shit, right? I mean, this is mostly just like a practice thing. I mean, obviously we should have won. It was stupid that we lost, right? Whatever. But still at the same time, like, I I'm not particularly surprised. Uh, all right, let's wait for everybody over here. Uh, we're not really stacked up. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just gotta get better. Focus on silencing and scouting beforehand. I don't really think scouting would have helped us there, honestly. Uh, I, I actually don't think so. Uh, because, like, we knew that they were coming. I told people, like, yeah, they're coming or whatever. But it just didn't make a difference because people weren't really paying attention that well. I guess that's the way it goes.